Hi guys and girls, Miss Vaselli here um, with your first flipped math video lesson of the week. Um, this week we're going to talk about adding and subtracting numbers, but today we're really going to focus on adding numbers, um, large numbers like we've been looking at throughout the past couple of weeks. Um, just as a review, we've been looking at writing numbers in different ways. We've looked at numeric form, which is writing numbers with numbers. Um, we looked at word form, and that was writing a large number with words. And then we also looked at expanded form, and in that way of writing numbers, we used a plus sign. Well, that last form, expanded form, is going to be helping you on today's lesson. Um, today's lesson is called adding using partial sums. And when we look at the two words partial and sums, when we break it down, the word partial means unfinished or incomplete. And the word sum, as many of you know, is an answer to an addition problem. So if we break that down, we're going to be getting incomplete answers to an addition problem. And then we're going to take those incomplete answers and we're going to add them together to get our final answer. So good luck and let's get started. So our guiding question for today is how do you break apart numbers to help add them together? How do you add 45,238 plus 35,987. Well, if we wrote these two numbers in expanded form, for that first number, 45,238, we would get, we would break it down in this way. 40,000 plus 5,000 plus 200 plus 30 plus 8. And then for this larger number, 35,987, we would break that down by 30,000, 5,987. In this lesson, you will learn how to add multi-digit whole numbers by using partial sums. So let's review. Each digit has a specific value based on its location in a number. For example, in the number 45,238, the digit 2 is in the hundreds place and has a value of 200, not just a value of 2. If we look at the location of the 2 in the number, it's in the hundreds place and it has a value of 200. Let's also review expanded form, writing numbers in expanded form. So, if I have the number 45,238 on my place value chart, I know that this 4 represents 40,000 because it's in the 10,000s place. And my 4 there is in the 10,000s place. And after ev for every other digit after that 4, I put a 0. The same thing goes for that 5 in the thousands place. I put my 5 in the thousands place here. And then for every digit after that 5, I put a 0. Same thing goes for 2 in the hundreds place, which has a value of 200, the 3 in the tens place, which has a value of 30, and the 8 in the ones place, which has a value of 8. So let's take a look at these two numbers, 45,238 plus 35,987. Our first step whenever we're using the partial sums method of adding is to write each number in expanded form. The second step in doing partial sums is to add each common place value together. And then the third step is to add the partial sums together. So let's take a look at that. We've already written down our 45,238 in expanded form, and there it is. We have 40,000 plus 5,000 plus 200 plus 30 plus 8. Well, now we need to do that for the number 35,987. So the 3 is in the 10,000s place, and so I would write that as 30,000. The 5 is in the thousands place and has a value of 5,000. The 9 is in the hundreds place and has a value of 900. The 8 is in the tens place and has a value of 80. And the 7 is in the ones place with a value of 7. So, my second step in partial sums is to add each common place value together. So, if I take a look at my two numbers that I've written in expanded form, I notice that 40,000 and 30,000 have a common place value together. They're both in the 10,000s place. So, 40,000 plus 30,000 equals 70,000. Then, I jump to my next place value, which is the thousands place. And I notice that I have 5,000 and 5,000 in each of these numbers written in expanded form. So, 5,000 plus 5,000 gives me 10,000. Then I go to the hundreds place. I have a 200 and a 900. So 200 plus 900 equals 1,100. 
Then we skip to the tens place. I have a 30 and an 80. So I know 30 plus 80 equals 110. And then I go to my ones place and I have an eight and a seven. So eight plus seven equals 15. Now these sums that I've gotten are only my partial sums. This is my addition problem is only partially completed. It's not complete yet, so it is incomplete. And that's where partial sums comes into play. My third step in partial sums is to add the partial sums together. So I would add my 70,000 plus my 10,000 plus my 1,100 plus 110 plus 15. And notice that as I'm adding these numbers together, I want to make sure that my ones place is lined up my tens places lined up, my hundreds places lined up, my thousands places lined up, and my ten thousands places lined up, just so that I don't get confused as a mathematician. And then we go down and add. So in my ones place, I have a five, okay? And then one plus one gives me two in the tens place. I look at my hundreds place and I have one plus one, which gives me two hundred. I have a one in my thousands place, so that gives me 1,000, and then seven plus one would give me 80,000. So in total, my final sum, my final answer to my addition problem is 81,225. Let's take a look at another set of numbers and let's try and add those together. And this time, we're just going to use mental math. We're not going to write these numbers down in expanded form, and I'll show you how this is done. If we take those two numbers and we stack them vertically, because that's how we're going to line our place values up properly, okay, it's a lot easier to do it this way than to do it horizontally. Okay, So I'm going to take my 30,000 plus 20,000 is 50,000. Okay, Notice that I'm starting over here on the left. I'm sure a lot of you are used to starting over here on the right when you're adding numbers together in this way. However, in the partial sums method, we start over on the left-hand side. So I'm going to keep going. 2,000 plus 5,000 gives me 7,000. 200 plus 400 gives me 600. 50 plus 70 gives me 120. And 6 plus 8 gives me 14. So if I add these numbers together, I'm going to start over here on the right. 4 plus nothing is 4. 2 plus 1 is 3, giving me 30. 6 plus 1 is 7, giving me 700. 0 plus 7 is 7 in the thousands. And then 5 plus nothing else is 5. So I have 57,734. In this lesson, you learned how to add multi-digit whole numbers by using partial sums.